Hi, it's Phil from Delphi, and in today's how-to video, we're gonna look at a common fault in a Tesla Model S door handle. The customers complain that the driver's door handle won't present. First thing, let's test it. So I can see that the passenger door handle at the back has presented, the driver's hasn't, and I can hear the motor whirring. So the, it's trying to open it, but can't. Let's get this door handle out and investigate. So to remove the door card on this Model S is actually really easy. There is simply a bolt in here, a bolt in here, and then a remainder of the clips all the way around. It's worth noting that you don't need to be high voltage qualified to work on this door. It's a common misconception that we see on various online forums. We've just now got a run of perimeter clips. We simply start at the bottom using a plastic trim tool, pop them out, and then remove the door card. So the door card's back. We've now just got to disconnect all of the wiring. This car also has the optional ambient lighting pack, so you'll see a couple of extra wires. So let's just go around, disconnect each one of these, and then we can move the door car out. Right, we're gonna remove the perimeter of Torx bits, remove this panel, and that allows us to gain access to pull the door handle through this gap. Remove the last Torx part, you have to bring this back. There'll be a few things to disconnect. The first is the latch handle, we need to drop that back. The second thing is we've got the wiring into the controller switch here. So we'll have to drop this down, push this through, and it allow us then, we don't need to remove this completely, but it allow us then to bring this down to give us access to the glass and the handle. So this part isn't mandatory, but honestly I found it makes your life a lot easier. So we're just gonna remove this chrome trim here. So we're now gonna bring the glass up halfway to access the two pinch bolts and remove the glass. It's just gonna make our job much easier and considering it's only two bolts. So we'll bring back the cover, allow us to access the first clamp bolt. Now we only need to release it a little bit. We don't need to remove it fully. The clamp will release, same on the other side and then we can lift the glass out. That side is a bolt clamp. This side is a push latch. So I'm gonna push the latch in, an assistant then will just lift the glass out for me um, and then we can place the glass in the boot. Remove this bar here and just move it over, giving you full access to remove the handle out. Remembering the handle's nice and chrome and we don't wanna risk marking the customer's vehicle. So to do that, we remove the cover. Then it's top bolt here, bottom bolt, and then just slide the bar over. We've got the door handle out. Let's just inspect it and hopefully we can see what the issue is. So we can see from the handle, the two main failures is wiring and the paddle gear. I can see that if I bring the, that back, the paddle gear is actually broken. Very, very common. So what I need to do is get this paddle gear replaced out. To do that, we're just gonna drop the motor off, drop this controller out of the way. And then on the back of the unit, we're going to undo these grub screws, slide this rod out and replace the gear. The three Torx bits, and these are T10s, holding the motor in place. And that will... Okay, we can remove the motor from place, just unhooking the electrical cables. So, next part is to remove the controller. And this just allows us the clearance for when we refit the paddle gear in with the bar and the position sensor of the handle. Don't adjust this element here because this is the door, this is the handle stop and it's the handle stop that sets that position. So we only adjust that after if required, but honestly we shouldn't need to. So I'll re remove that now. So we're okay to flip over and we're ready now to slide this bar out. Now remember that we have springs on the other side. So we pull it out nice and slowly like this and we can see here the springs, so we'll just move them back across. And as we bring that out, we're just gonna put our hands, or we we'll use a pair of pliers here. So we bring that out. This is the first spring. Go all the way along. Second spring. We remember which side the springs go. And now we can retract the bar fully out and that allows us now to refit 
the brand new paddle gear. Bar all the way through, back through all the springs, and then we can refit it back together. So everything has been refitted. New paddle gear, we then slid the bar back in, fitted the springs, the, the position sensor, all the grub screws, new cable tie, and everything's ready to go back in the vehicle. Now fitting is an exact reverse of removal, so let's get it in and check it works. So that's the job complete. The last thing is a final check of all the functionality. So the first thing is to make sure the door handle opens, press the fob, looks good. Always remember as well that these handles have a second pressure sensor inside, which can also be used to activate the door handle. Let's see that in action. Looks good. Thanks for watching. For more videos, then why not follow us on social media or visit the Masters of Motion online hub. And for more expert-led courses, then check out the Delphi Academy. See you next time.